Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again. Look, I've got the new headlands ready to build up. Well actually it's not ready to build up at all. My, my other headlands is there and I need to take the whole thing apart and pretty much I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to do a full deep clean. So it's a new frame set, here's a full carbon frame set, here's the fork. Hopefully I won't drop it on the floor today. I've been riding my old headlands like in the most brutal conditions. I've been meaning to fully service it. Having a new frame is a really good opportunity just to take the whole thing apart. So today we're gonna to be stripping down the old frame, taking all the parts off, giving them a bit of a deep clean, and then uh, setting them up on the new one. I'm gonna get rid of this frame. Well, not get rid of it. I'm gonna put this frame over here. We're gonna take it apart, give it a full deep clean. As per usual, I suck at doing disc brakes. I do have a kit for Shimano, but I still don't really know what I'm doing, and I could Google it, but Dan's gonna help me tomorrow. But anyway, this is something you guys look so important. It's an important part, because I'm pointing my finger and anarchy at you. So you've been riding all winter, it's been pretty grimy, it's been wet, you know, if it's been icy, you've had salt on the road, and honestly, it ruins components. So even if you're not getting a new bike or building a new bike, it's worth doing this anyway, you know, to be honest. My gravel bikes are one body, so it's, this is just super simple. It's just a matter of removing the rear mech. I'm gonna give that a full like clean. And there's not a lot to maintain on a one body. I mean, let's be honest. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling and crack on and start unscrewing stuff. Right, so you see how grimy this gets? It gets so clogged up and dirty in like all the places. No matter how much you clean your bike, like I'm pretty good at cleaning my bike. And look, it's just full of grime and rubbish. And you know, it's like one bolt to take it off. And then once it's off, you can like give it a proper good scrub and a proper good clean. It'll just be like the rear mech, as you can see, and then the crank set. So I'm gonna get the crank set off, go and give them a proper good clean. But yeah, look at the state of that. That is after. I don't think I've ever taken it off properly to clean it. Maybe do yours. And on the Shimano crank, it's just a couple of little bolts to undo to get the crank off. And then you get this funny little tool. Can you see that? It's like a weird, a weird thing. And that just slots in the hole. This little cap is finger tight. So once you remove that, you get the little like top cap. And again, look, you can probably see it's just filthy. My power meter's all dirty. So as you can see, it's like, what, three bolts to get your crank off and one bolt to get your rear mech off. So definitely worth doing actually. If you're like changing your cables or doing that, or you're gonna clean your bike properly. If you keep your bike clean, it just lasts longer and you don't have to change bits as much. I mean, I get a lot of stuff for free. I still don't wanna be changing things unnecessarily. Right, so I'm gonna go and clean this stuff and um, I'll give you a before and after. So you've seen it before. Minging, look, see that? And then realistically, there's not a lot to be putting on the new frame. It is just a matter of like putting the headset in. I'm gonna put a brand new bottom bracket in, which should hopefully work with this crank. I have got the right bottom bracket this time. I haven't bought a ridiculously wrong sized one. Then I'm gonna run all the cables through for the gears. And then I'll probably end up putting the bars and brakes and all that stuff on tomorrow when I go to Dan's house after things. But you'll get a good idea of what it looks. Oh, and actually, I wanna ask you an important question about this build, but I'll ask you after I've cleaned all this. So let's go downstairs and give it all the scrub. Honestly, I gave it a really quick clean. You'd have seen that outside. Totally, totally worth doing. Honestly, no, I, I can't stress enough. So regular viewers will know that there is a lot of bike builds on this channel. And um, and honestly, like I'd love to get brand new components for every bike build. We don't all have brand new components to put on a bike, like every time we build it or clean it or after we've ridden in winter. So like if you're riding in winter and it is getting towards like nicer weather like now it is with spring, take your rear mech off, give it a good clean, oil like the moving parts, just a little dab of oil like on these little bits here, I don't know if you can see, like just on there, and then all the little like moving parts, and it will keep your bike running smoothly for ages. I need to take the seat post out, put that in the other one so we can then do the big switch over. I'm well excited about this frame. Oh, this is what I was gonna ask you. 650s or 700? What do you reckon? I'm kind of feeling 700s at the moment, but I think it looks really nice with 650s. I'll show you them both after I've built it tomorrow, but like, you're gonna have to help me decide. Let's continue this build.
So right, I was actually gonna go from the top, like down to the bottom, but honestly, because of this way this frame's set up, I think it's actually a lot easier yeah. to go this way. And then there's a large hole up the end, and hopefully I'll be able to tease the cable out a little bit easier. So that's it, today's vlog is pretty much out with the old and in with the new. I mean, it looks mega, doesn't it? I proper love it. So all that's left really is, yeah, switch the brakes over. These bars are going on. I'm probably gonna put the same old tape on, you know? I like, basically, this tape is kind of ruined and I kind of like it. It was actually a very smooth build, you know? Nothing went drastically wrong. I do need to lube everything up a little bit, like sort my chain out. But yeah, I'm proper looking forward to it. I think I'm definitely gonna put 650s on it. My 650s have tan walls. It's gonna look awesome. Let me know down below what wheels I should put on this. I feel a bit weird ending this video without a complete build. I've got like a bike over there that I haven't built. I've got two bikes in my garage that I need to build. I'm building this one, like I've got to switch the brakes and then my stay is coming, I'm gonna to have to build that one up. I mean, I'm not complaining, I love building bikes, but like, I'm gonna to have to start riding them at some point, aren't I? I do hope you guys enjoy just this little bit of a chilled one. And if you are getting your bike ready after a winter of riding, yeah, give your rear mech a good clean, feel free to take it off. I mean, do if, if you wanna go a little bit step further than just cleaning it, take it off, take the chain off, remove everything. And just give them a good scrub, you know? It makes a world of a difference and it will make your components last just so much longer. I guess that's it. Next time I see you, I'll be sitting on this bike and we'll all be going for a ride. I wonder what wheels I'll have on. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.